There's something cathartic about getting somewhere the hard way, over land and water. Most of us don't have time for it these days, but the wilderness surrounding the granite Cirque of the Unclimbables in northern Canada definitely deserves some exploring. I think of it as earning rite of passage, paying in blood, sweat, and drool. I didn't pick my companions so much for their skills, more because they were friends. It's kind of important when you're gonna spend weeks in a tent together. There's me, Dominic, Brian, a climber and the brains behind the operation, and Dean, the Kiwi paddler. My biggest concern is definitely being able to get up the wall, given the lack of climbing experience I have. Three days and 3,000 miles after leaving Los Angeles, California, we were dropped just shy of the Arctic Circle with pack rafts and over 100 pounds of food and gear for the journey. So we have a five or six day paddle down the Little Nahani River at the moment to get to the trailhead to the Circuit of the Unclimbables, cutting our teeth uh, in the world of pack rafting. Been talking to Dean a little bit about the Circuit of the Unclimbables. He really has never actually done very much climbing. Yeah, I think the aim is for Dean's first real climbing experience to be on one of North America's 50 greatest climbs. Six days of paddling led to a faint trailhead and the granite spires above the river valley. Of the whole journey, this hike is the bit that requires the most training. My heart rate's steady, 140 right now. We thought we had a 5k hike into this lake to paddle across, but I think it was probably double that. I've never seen anything quite like this. So beautiful, but intimidating as well, so yeah, mixed emotions. <laughs> Wanting to take advantage of a closing weather window, we shelved the idea of a rest day and headed up to Lotus Flower Tower at first light. Pretty nervous, but excited to get up there and see how I feel. You <laughs> can put all this apprehension to rest. <laughs> Good to go. You're on. Now I'll try and warn you if I'm stepping on any new stuff, but just heads up. While the goal was getting all three of us to the top of the tower, the overarching objective was to enjoy it. There you go. I think I'm, I'm probably going to get, probably going to wear myself out a lot, lot quicker than you guys. So, but you kind of just put your hand in the crack. If there's not a hold, you just wedge it by flexing your, your pitch two of Lotus hand. Flower Tower. Sixteen more to go. Kind of difficult for someone's first climb. For Dean, grappling with a new sport on such a large alpine face quickly became a little less than fun. I feel like I may have uh, skipped a couple of steps in the natural progression of climbing. It was an amazing experience, but there's some things you need to know about how to climb before you try and come up something like this. Good luck. <laughs> See you back at camp. Yeah, I'll be enjoying my cheese and chocolate and... Even without Dean sharing the rope with us, the summit began to fade from sight. Today is a pretty off climbing day for me. I'm getting way colder than I should be. Brian's still not feeling great. We're moving pretty slowly. Uh, I think the top's certainly out of the question. Uh, still, it's nice here. I'm a little bit disappointed, but um, it's not the end of the world, is it? We've got 10 days of paddling to go after this as well. There's something really special about this journey in that it's more than the Cirque. Climbing Lotus Flower Tower would physically be the high point of the journey, but really it's only part of a much bigger adventure, which is traveling through this land. Today was the first day paddling in a while, and that was pretty awesome. Just a lot of river floating. I would love to climb the circuit again one day. It'd be kind of like a full circle thing to do to come back to the place where I got introduced to climbing and actually do it properly. Mm -hmm.